there are some factors that influence uh, the design of classes uh, and writing good classes takes uh, effort, more effort in the short term um, but uh, this uh, effort is just justified uh, in the long term uh, so there are some principles that uh, we will see uh, for example, um, in particular, uh, there is uh, uh, the notion that uh, uh, classes uh, should be uh, designed uh, such that they are um, uh, responsibility driven uh, and that um, uh, classes should encapsulate uh, their data. Um, the um, way in which uh, um, we will see uh, the implementation of a good design is through three parts. Uh, at the first level we will see the necessary, um, the necessary changes uh, that uh, have to be made uh, in order for um, uh, the class the classes to uh, have a, a good design um, then uh, there will be a, a second um, part in which there uh, are more advanced uh, changes uh, and extensions uh, and uh, then the third level, um, the third level uh, changes uh, in which um, uh, we will see some exercises that um, f uh, follow uh, these. Um, mm, more advanced changes. Uh, for the second part uh, we will only see uh, the uh, higher um, uh, level design uh, while the, the, um, the, the, uh, the higher level implementation while the uh, lower uh, we leave the Level, impl level implementation uh, for the first part instead uh, we will uh, uh, give solutions to some exercises that uh, will implement these basic necessary changes um, the, um, in the projects yeah because the um, it doesn't mean that if um, a class executes uh, that uh, it has good design. Um, in fact, uh, even if um, even if a program is uh, working. Uh, properly uh, and uh, the, the, the functionality uh, is fine uh, the internal uh, uh, design of the classes uh, can be bad uh, and not uh, well structured uh, this becomes more apparent when uh, uh, some maintenance has to be done, for example, uh, fixing a bug or uh, adding uh, new uh, functionalities to the program. Uh, in this case, uh, a change that um, is simple on uh, a good designed class uh, becomes uh, very hard uh, to make. Uh, when the classes are badly designed. Um, 
the other uh, thing is that um, when oh wait uh, ten um, Uh, um, yeah, uh, yes, uh, especially in larger uh, programs, uh, this becomes clear even uh, before uh, the actual implementation, the final implementation. Uh, it actually uh, these this, these problems occur uh, even um, earlier. Uh, when uh, when someone starts implementing uh, some classes with a bad design, it will be more complex to uh, finish the program and uh, for example for uh, companies that uh, maintain and um, and uh, expand and sell a uh, product uh, for uh, uh, for many uh, years. Um, it becomes uh, not very much affordable to. Um, uh, have a uh, bad design uh, because uh, it uh, will make uh, it very complex to accomplish this maintenance and uh, changing uh, of functionalities. Um, in the projects uh, that uh, we have for uh, this chapter, uh, there are two versions uh, that we will explore. Um, the uh, uh, Zul Bed and Zul Better. Uh, the first one uh, shows the uh, bad implementation of uh, the, bad, you know, the bad design. Um, and from that, uh, 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 we will understand why it is bad, uh, and so make improvements uh, to uh, make a better implementation that is actually uh, the one in the second version of this program that is uh, basically a text-based uh, adventure game, uh, which uh, in the start will seem uh, very simple and rudimental, uh, almost incomplete, uh, but uh, by giving it uh, uh, a better design, uh, it can actually be mm, be more. Uh, complete. So I can open the project of tool bed and uh, explore. And uh, first, I can execute it. Mm. And so um, it's, it's I can explore it and using the comments I see on the program and uh, for example it asked me um, I asked for 
Um, what does um, I don't remember what it was asking me. Okay. Um, there were five things. Um, okay, ah, yeah, what does this application do? So, uh, hmm, well, yes, it says it's, uh, uh, adventure game, and it's text-based, and I think, yes, um, uh, I have these rules, uh, for example, the main entrance of the university, and I can input different commands. Uh, for example, here there are three commands uh, east, south, and west. Uh, ah, but I can also type help. Uh, so there are four commands help is south and west, and uh, so what the application does is that it um, just output some text when some input text is given and uh what does uh what what um uh, which commands are accepted uh yes um and what do they do okay so help is southwest and accepted help basically things to the You are lost, you are wrong, you wonder around the rescue. Your command words are go quick help. Okay, so help always gives more detail about the uh, mm, particular room. And quick, uh, quick just tends the game. Um, go, go where? Go east. Okay, so this is how uh, I can move from a room to another room. Um, so um, so what comments are accepted? How many rooms are in this scenario? Uh, there, there is, I think, only one room. I think. So for a scenario. The main entrance. Then it's the lecture theater. Then draw a map of the existing rooms. Okay. So I should explore it with the uh, uh, east, west, then south commands. So. Let's see.
Okay. Um main entrance. So east. Is electric theater. Now I return west, so I need to make an entrance. I go. Go um, south. South computing lab. So. Hmm. Then go east. Leave it with me. It's to the south, north, east, west. And east to the computing lab, there is the computing admin office. Um, I can't. Go north, or maybe I can to return to the lecture theater. So, if someone go north, goes north, it says that there is no door. Okay, so it's important that there are these connections that represent the doors. So the only way I can go is back west and then return uh, to go north. Uh, so now I'm left only with uh, go west, which I didn't explore, and this is uh, the campus pub. Okay, so this is the whole map of, of the application. Uh, then uh, what does each class do? Let's see. I can quit this. 
um, it's class rich method. I don't remember the Do you remember the question? Okay, so uh, what in the each individual class does? Uh, sorry, I have to write its purpose and see the comment of method header to help me. So for game okay it's the main class of the application and so it says that it uh, has the purpose of creating and initializing all the other classes uh, the rooms okay so uh, the room classes uh, the parser uh, the commands and okay command wait so yes commands In the methods, in fact, there is a method create rooms, play to start the application, uh, print welcome, the uh, print welcome, um, it's just to start application okay so uh, the commands this is command print help go room and quit it also quits the application um, now parser So the purpose is that it reads user input and tries to interpret it as an adventure command. Uh, Let's look at some methods. Get command. So it gets the the, the input text that was given. Okay. So that's the only method that's in there. Uh, command uh, has the purpose of holding information uh, about uh, a command that was issued by the user. So, There is this method get command word. Uh, what does it do? It is the command word of this command. Okay, so yes. So it reads. No, it gives the yes, it gets the the, the 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 name of the command. 
is known okay says that mm, okay these methods look whether the command is invalid um, command words command words uh, command words has the purpose of uh, having uh, of holding of all the command words that are used uh, in the game that are valid commands so yes is command it actually uh, tells if a command is is valid or not uh, room is a class that has the purpose of representing uh, one location in the scenario and there is a method set exits that gives the um, the possible that gives uh, well it sets the, 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 the where the doors are okay where there is a door in that room and get description that gives a description of the room. Mm. 